This is Bob from Bob Younger Images. How are you today? I get, um, I've seen a lot of posts on some different Facebook groups um, about people having troubles with their Lightroom and how um, their computers um, are just overwhelmed and their memory is just literally stripped and gone. And they're asking about what kind of laptop do I need? How big of a hard drive do I need? Um, and so I responded in a group, rec group recently that um, my, my laptop has a 500 gig hard drive and that's all I need. And um, I've been doing professional photography since 2017 and I've kind of developed a really good workflow for um, how I manage my, my files and my Lightroom catalogs and where I store them and how they back them up. Um, and nothing ends up on my computer. Everything is on external drives um, and each uh, project has its own catalog. So, um, by the way, if you can, if you go out to uh, Instagram, take a look at my stuff, Bob Younger Images. Uh, I'm primarily a senior photographer, family photographer, fashion boudoir. I do a few weddings now and then, um, some sports stuff, but primarily a senior and, uh, and fashion family type stuff. So, uh, give me a follow. I'd love to see you out there. All right, so let's jump into this. First thing I want to talk about is, is how I set up my folder and how I build my folders. I usually have an automation that I have to do this, but I'm going to show you um, specifically how this works. So first thing is I have an external drive, and I, I store all my projects on there, um, and I back them up to a second external drive. Then I back them up to an NAS, which is a, which is a, uh, a, a, a drive that allows access via um, network and then that gets backed up to the cloud. Um, but for most users, the most important thing is to have a couple, three backups somewhere and store everything on your external drive. So right now, um, I'm using this, I've, I've got this labeled as working for, but this is a, a one terabyte external SSD from Samsung. They're like a hundred bucks on amazon.com. Um, if you need the link for it, let me know. Um, and uh, that external drive, um, is where I, I start. So on that external drive, what I typically will do um, is I will build folders. And so um, I'll show you one here that I've got. Let's do, um, let's do, uh, let's do Katie here. Um, so Katie. So Katie is a, is a kid of a friend of mine and, and she does modeling and she just recently got back from New York City. Um, and um, this is a typical file build for me. So I'll start with a folder called catalog, um, and that's where my Lightroom catalog goes. And so inside there, that's where my Lightroom catalog goes. I'll show you how that pops in there. I put in my RAWs, so these are all my RAW images from our session together. Um, these are my working RAWs, which are the ones that I have culled down, and, and this, uh, in this example, I have several that have been culled down in there, and I typically will use um, Photo Mechanic for culling. Um, if I can probably do another video another time on Photo Mechanic, but Photo Mechanic calls super, super fast. So if you get a chance, purchase that. Um, it is way, way, way better than trying to use Lightroom. Um, and then uh, in this case, I have a final edits, which is where I put everything in that I'm going to either upload to uh, an in-person sales website, a gallery, send to the client or whatever. And then in, I also put one in here for review. This is not typical, but typically if I've got a normal client, I don't send photos to them to review. I do an in-person sales session, but um, for Katie, I'm sending her some photos for her to pick her favorites to have edited because she and I work together semi-frequently. So um, so let me kind of show you how that works. So first things first, I build this uh, folder. I drop my RAWs in there. Once my RAWs are in there, I go to Photo Mechanic. I cull them out, and I put the ones that I'm actually going to have working on inside there. Um, I then go to Lightroom, and I uh, create a, a new catalog inside Lightroom. <clears throat> and I'm not going to do all this for you because it's it you know takes time and you've got better things to do than watch that. Um, but what I'll do is I'll go in, I'll go uh, import, right? I'll come down here to uh, library. I will come over and hit import, and then I come down and tell it where I want those photos to come from. So in this case, I'm going to have it come from my external drive working for, and I would come over here to Katie Nab, and I would come into working raws. And I would select all these photos for Katie, um, and then I would bring those in and import those into Lightroom and create the catalog that way. Um, so once I have my um, photos that I've imported into, uh, into there, then I have my folder that's built that shows 
my my catalog. And again, there's a, there's a catalog, and this is all on an external drive. Nothing goes to my computer. Nothing goes to my uh, my hard drive on my computer. Um, once I am done doing whatever edits I want in Lightroom, obviously I can pop over to Photoshop and do something from there. Um, and once I've got that done, then I can um, export. And when I export, I will typically export those into final edits. And I'll put my final edits for those in there. Um, and then that's the folder I go to if I'm going to post to social media. That's the folder I go to if I'm going to send to a gallery. I use NView for my in-person sales and galleries and deliverables. Um, or in some commercial cases, I'll, I'll send them over to a Google Drive and have them uh, share the Google Drive with my client. Um, and that's basically the gist of it. That's how simple it is. The really important things to take away from this is that on my external drive, which is backed up in two or three other places, every single project has a new catalog, right? So when I come in, I go um, new catalog, and I create a new catalog. I tell it where I want that catalog to be. So in this case, I would go to, let's say, Addison. I would go here. I would create uh, Addison, Senior Photos, whatever, hit enter, and that's where my catalog would be created. Um, I don't use the um, default catalog on the computer because it just bogs down um, Lightroom so, so much. And you'll notice over here, each of my catalogs may only have 100, 200, 300 photos in it as opposed to you if you're using the default catalog on your computer which is stored on your hard drive, hard drive, you may have thousands of photos in that catalog, which then makes it incredibly difficult to go out and find your photos later on. Um, so it's really, really important to have a separate catalog um, and a separate folder for each one of these. The other nice thing too is when I'm done with these, I can archive these on my external um, drive that's backed up to the cloud. And then I will literally come in and wipe this external drive completely and I'll start over and I'll, I'll start again. And again, nothing's going on my laptop, nothing's going on my computer, it's all on these external drives. Um, so hopefully that helps you. If you have any other questions, let me know. Uh, again, sorry, I'm, I'm on vacation right now, so I didn't really get to do uh, too much uh, in-depth. You certainly don't want to see me. I'm at the beach and I'm all unshaven and don't look very good. So uh, in general, I'm glad that I didn't do a video for you of me. Um, but if you have any questions, reach out to me. My email is bobyoungerimages at gmail.com. You can find me at bobyoungerimages.com on all the social medias. Um, and feel free to ask me any questions or put any comments down below. Thanks a bunch.